Hey guys, it's me Liv. I hope everyone's doing good out there. So first I wanted to um, show you that I managed to actually hit this month's my resolution of trying to get my classes done on the subscription I have over at Kit and Clowder. And then I'm going to show you my haul that I got and my uh, design team haul as well. So this last month for the month of December into January, it was a mermaid theme and I finally got my image all colored up. I actually really enjoyed this class. I need to work a little bit more on making sure this blends well, but I like the cool technique about the scales that I learned and creating the fireworks. This is all done with Copic markers. She used a different image in her um, store that she uses with the class uh, but again i'm killing two birds with one stone this was an image that i had it's a digital stamp I forget the name of the artist it's kelly something oh kelly arts design studios um and i had this in my digital pile so i actually managed to kill two birds and finish one of my subscription classes and use one of my digital stamps. So I will probably put this on the cover of one of my books at some point, uh, since I do enjoy looking at them. And then next, here is a haul that I bought, and underneath here is my design team package from this month from Not Too Shabby Shop. So I ended up getting this adorable leprechaun. I love the images um, that um, Roberto Rascal does for CC Design. So when I saw this one, um, I wanted to go ahead and grab it up. And it's red rubber, still always gonna be my fave. Um, though I do use polymer stamps quite often. Then there's another one from CC Designs that is just perfect for Valentine's Day. So I will be doing a project with this. If you haven't checked out Not Too Shabby Shop, full disclaimer, I'm on their design team, um, but she is actually having some clearance sales, and this is one of the images. Now, if you guys follow me, you know I'm like obsessed with Stamping Bella, so I was so excited to see that this was in clearance. I don't have all of these images, uh, so I went ahead and grabbed up this um, tiny, towny um, image, and this is Daffodil. And then this is part of the new release from my favorite things uh, so this is the love you and isn't this great i love the big um text you can do it in the bold or in the clear so i really like how that came and then i got this galentine one um to to use as well because i just really enjoy the sentiments here so i can make a couple ones for my really good friends so that is some of the haul that i got and I will be working to use these this month. That's why I tried to buy things that were kind of um, somewhat coming up with seasons. Since this is Valentine's Day, this is really March coming up with St. Patrick's Day is what I was thinking. Another Valentine's image. And of course, the dawning of spring. Even though I know it's only January. But anyway, here is my design team package for this month from Not Too Shabby. Now this is her newest release and look at this guys. Not only has she, she sent me these fantastic new stamps that Jamie designed and look at these perfect for birthday. This one is adorable. You see two little hands here um, and then this gorgeous flowers. But she also sent me this die here that says love with a little heart. And she has decided to come out with some designer paper packs. So Not Too Shabby now has their own papers. Look at this. So look at this Valentine's collection. I love this color scheme. Um, and I can't wait to try out these papers. It does come with some embellishments, which you see here in this packet to match along with it. Uh, she also sent me this packet um, of paper that she came out with. This is called Frosted and Tuft, uh, which is like all these type of ice cream type flavors. And I actually do love pink and browns together. I think it's very classy. So it's something I really like. Then I got some sequences and die cut stickers that she has of the I Love You Latte and some die, more die cut stickers here of the bows that matches in accordance with this set right here. So 
I'm just so proud of Jamie and how well she has grown not only her shop but also her own line. It is so exciting to be a part of her design team. I'm very honored that she continues to allow me to participate in her design, both her digital as well as her shop uh, YouTube video design team. I am going to be making a project with it. You're going to see at least two projects this month coming out with this collection, with um, this one in particular for my design team. And then I am also going to shoot to do at least a couple with the other items I ended up sneaking into my cart at the same time. So thank you guys so much. I am going to kind of try to keep going strong with my resolutions this month and my crafty goals and i hope everyone has a great night thanks for watching talk to you soon bye